channel family i am just so blessed so grateful and so honored to have all of my beautiful 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 family i love y'all so much and i am so grateful that i have had a chance and an opportunity to have you guys in my life to have you guys in my life i am so grateful and so thankful and i just thank y'all for all the love and support that y'all have been showing me i thank y'all so much and you know i'm trying my hardest to do better i'm trying my hardest to do better but it just seemed like you know i just want to post for october october i will be doing vlogmas i will be doing not vlogmas um Whatever it is, Fakto, I will be doing that. But in today's video, I will be baking um, pink lemonade cake. <clears throat> I will be baking a pink lemonade cake. And instead of me playing music, I will be just doing a voiceover. But today, I just kind of want to go over some things, you know, and just ask a couple of questions and just kind of, you know, just let's just chat. Let's just chat. I don't know where this video going to go, but we going to chat. Let's chat. Let's chat, y'all. Come on. So anyway, I have been talking to someone and I have told this person how I feel about how I felt about some stuff that went on in our life back in the day. And I had explained and I had talked about it and I had, you know, I was just letting the person know how I feel, how things went down. And the good in the in the best thing that happened to me, they let me talk. They didn't interrupt me. They didn't say, hold on. They didn't say, no, no, no none of that stuff they let me vent to them of what they had did to me and the things that had went on in my life and how things was happening in my life and <clears throat> y'all it was so hard to um really break down because i hate going back over memory lane when it's bad now when it's good i love it but when it's bad and things have happened and things could have been differently but i do appreciate this person for sitting me down y'all know i don't drop names that's, that's something i will never do but i appreciate this person for when the thing that did happen in our life sat me down and we talked about our separation we talked about how we was gonna part from each other and you know the things we talked about you know the kids and how this you know we was gonna try to work this out and work that out one thing i do know i was that part of that chapter um that part of that chapter uh was very good for me because when you have that closure of a of, of your relationship ending with someone it is so it is so good because you understand more and and especially if y'all wasn't getting along y'all was always arguing and you know it was so much and you know that person just thought and then at the end when that person seen you with somebody else that person wanted to change and that person wanted to give themselves to you. That person wanted to be with you again. And things just didn't work out like that. So, um, I had a conversation with this person. And we talked about, we stayed on the phone probably about almost two hours. Probably about almost two hours. And, you know, we just talked about things and a lot of things happen you know had happened in our life a lot of things you know a lot of things when I tell you a lot you know 
even bad things had happened. You know, this person did a lot, a lot, you know, but he let me vent. He let me talk about it. He didn't say anything. He asked me questions, you know, from this to that, even with the phone, this disturbing phone call he did to me. And, you know, it was just so much that, you know, I was able to express myself. He never one time told me to be quiet or told me, no, it didn't happen like that or no. He, he, he listened. We talked. And I was telling him, you know, this and this and that. And, you know, what has trans, you know, what has went on in my life now and the things that happened. And he said, you know what? To be honest with you, I didn't deserve you. Now, 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 I'm just like, huh? He was like, to be honest with you, I didn't deserve you. He said, you always been a good girl. You always been a good girl. He said, I can understand, you know, you've been in several relationships, but I ain't never heard nothing bad about you in a relationship. You know, you have always been committed to any relationship that you ever been in. And, you know, I just felt like once I lost you and I thought about it, he said, I didn't deserve you. You know, I didn't deserve you. All the things that I did and all the things that I was doing and you was just there. He said, you took a lot of heartache, a lot of pain, and you took a lot of blows from me. And he said, I want to apologize to you for that. He said, because I do think about how things could have been different if we would have, you know, carried on our relationship. Say, you a good girl. He said, you a good girl. Whoever gets you, they are very, very blessed to have you in their life. He said, because, you know, just for me being with you as long as I was being, as long as I was with you, you represented a lot about yourself. You didn't respect yourself enough to get out there and do what you needed to do far as not letting people do stuff to you. You let a lot of people, not just me, you let a lot of people say and treat you any kind of way. He said, you know, the things that I saw in you, I was just running with it because I was like, I got a good girl. She ain't going to do nothing. She ain't going to leave me. She ain't going nowhere. She ain't going to cheat with nobody. She ain't going to do none of that. He saying it wasn't something that I saw. It's something that I knew. I knew you wasn't going to do nothing. I knew it. He said, so not because I was going to do this to you or if I was going to do that to you. He said, that's just the person that you are. He said, your heart is very tender. Your heart is very loving. You love the people you love. He say, over the years, I didn't hurt a lot. And I say, dang, I can't believe that she is still carrying on that same, um, I forgot how he say, that same um, pattern. That ain't what he said, but the same pattern that I have, you know, in a long time. And just like I told him, I said, you know what? I feel like this. If I'm in a relationship with you, I'm in a relationship with you. If I was in a relationship with you before you got into a situation, I'm going to stay in that relationship with you until you get out of that situation. And I'm going to continue on until you tell me, hey, you know, and, and I was just like, I asked him, did you do the things that you did because I wasn't enough? Or did you just, why, why would you do the things that you did? He said, you know what? You was more than enough. But it was just me being stupid, going out there, wanting to do this, wanting to do that, want to show off, want to think I'm the tough guy, want to be this one. He said, but I'm telling you, nobody could have equal up to you. Nobody could have equal up to you. That's why I didn't leave. But when you got fed up, things started changing, and I didn't like it. A man don't like when a woman change up when you can't run over them no more. They don't like that. So 
So he said, you started changing up and I, you started pushing me to the limit. You started put not to the limit, to the other. You started pushing me the other way. And things began to just start looking. You know, once this person realized I was done, I, I mean, it was not nothing else I could give. I didn't gave you everything. I gave you everything. Everything. This is kids, my heart. Me, everything. I gave you everything that I could give you. And the only thing that you could give, you took care of me. You took care of me very well. I'm sorry. You took care of me very well. It was never that. It was never that you didn't take care of me. It was never that. You did that. But... You don't feed people and think that money is a way out. I never been a person that felt like money was what I needed. Money can buy you everything you need. It can buy you everything you need, but it can't buy you what you, I mean, I'm sorry. Money can buy you everything what you want everything you you can you can buy everything with money but the thing that i needed was somebody to love me care for me and protect my heart i didn't need for nobody to go buy me this and go buy me that and go buy me this i mean literally every day giving me money giving me money in my hand every day 100 200 300 400 you know giving me money I told him that's not what I needed. I didn't need you to give me money. I needed you to be there for me. I needed you to love me. I needed you to care for me. And I needed you to, you know, treat me better than you treated other people. And he said, I felt that. He said, I felt that. I felt I, I felt that, right? Just as you're telling me that. Because when a man have money, they feel like they can do whatever they want to to whoever they want to. And I thought that was making you happy. But just like I told him, no, it was not making me happy. I'm not a materialistic person. I'm not. I never have been. Anybody who know me know I never have been. You can't give me no money and have me run off and be happy. Or give me nothing. No, that's not what I want. I was taught to be loved, respected. I was taught uh, if a person didn't want me, they didn't deserve me. I was taught that love, a person is going to do all that. They're going to love you. They're going to respect you. They're not going to hurt you. I was taught that. I wasn't taught that. If a person give you some money, you better run with it. If a person give you this, you better run with it. Yeah, you can do everything that you need to do. Buy me what you want to buy me. Pay the bills. Get the kids this. Do this. Do that. You could do all of that. But that's not what was keep that's not what was making me happy. When we spent time together, you know, when we did things together, you know, when, whatever it was, that's what was keeping me happy. It wasn't the money. And can't nobody in this world today flash money in my face. I don't care how much money you got. It looks good. Yeah, it look good for me to be in this type of car to live in this type of house. It look good, but that's not what I want. I want to be loved. I want to be respected. I want to have your heart just like you got mine. I want you to love me unconditionally like I love you. I want you to be down for me like I'm down for you. I want you to represent me like I represent you. I don't care about all of that. I don't care about all of that. Ain't no buying me. You can't buy me. I was taught to not be bought. I was taught to not be bought. I was told growing up, a man, that's what a man gonna do. And then he was just like, yeah, you, you. You most definitely was a loyal person. You most 
definitely need to be with somebody who's going to respect you. Who's going to treat you better than anyone can. And I was just like, well, you know, it's hard to find that because you give up that trust or you give up that want to find when you give yourself so much to somebody and they break your heart. I'm tired of my heart being broke. I ain't never had Now I didn't been in relationships and then broke up and went through it. But I ain't never went through nothing like I done went through in the last two, three years almost. That was a terrible breakup because I mean, I ain't gonna even say nothing on it, but that was, that was a, that right there, that was a heartbreak I ain't never, ever, ever, ever felt. Never felt. But, you know, you live and you learn. And like I was telling him, the way my heart was shattered, it wasn't broke, it was shattered. I don't think that I can get back to grips with want to be in a relationship. I, even if I was to get in a relationship, I believe, I don't think nobody can break my heart the way this last relationship, the way this last person did in my relationship. I don't think I could ever have a heartbreak like that again. I know how to protect myself from that now. I know that I can't allow a person to hurt me. And it doesn't matter what people say or what people this people didn't told me a million and one different things to try to change my heart and how my heart was. But you can't change my heart. You can try. But you can't change my heart. I know who I am. And now I respect who I am. And I have boundaries now. And if you cannot respect me and show me that you love me just as much as I love you and you can't respect that about me, then you might as well not even want to be in a relationship with me. I'm not taking no more heartbreaks. I'm not taking no more being with a man and all he want to do is cheat. I'm not doing that no more. I don't have time for that. I respect myself too much to allow myself to be in a relationship like that and that's why I'm not in a relationship because I don't feel like getting with this person nah he ain't right getting with this person no he ain't right getting with this person no he ain't right get with that person and he seemed to be a little right and then he turned out he ain't right mm -mm. I don't have time for that I don't have time for that right now that is something that I don't have time for. So I'm not going to sit up here and let nobody treat me any kind of way. If you love me, love me. Show me you love me. Because I'm going to most definitely show you. If you respect me, show you respect me because I'm most definitely respect you. I'm not going to do anything that I haven't done ever. I always been the same person in my relationships, always. And that's just the way that I am. It don't matter how many relationships I've been in, but they was always respected by me. And when he told me what he told me, it made me think like, dang, I did love too hard. I showed too much. I respected too much. I took too much. And I took it and I took it over and over and over again. You know, sometimes when somebody ball their fist up and hit you, not even physically, but just hit you with some type of hurt, that hurts. That hurts. But anyway, my LJC family, I'm going to stop this right here.
I love y'all. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Watch your heart. Set your boundaries. Don't let people disrespect you. Know who you are. Know who you want to be. Love yourself because when you love yourself, can't nobody hurt you. I wish a person, I wish I would get into a relationship and find out a person was cheating. Baby, you ain't got number one time. You ain't got two, three, four, five, six, seven times. You got one time. Bye. I don't need you in my life. I ain't playing second to nobody. Never, ever in life. I'm going to be first and first only. And I ain't trying to hear that you first and uh, 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 eh, 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 bye. Go on about your business. We ain't got time for that. Cheat on your own time. Go cheat on somebody else, but you won't be cheating on me. But anyway, and until next time, once again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all all my LJC family. And until next time, y'all be blessed. I can't believe I believe